Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody, and happy day, everybody. Good morning, guys. Good morning. I am standing here watching my girl Dee's delicious bites. She's about to eat oxtail. It's right in the beginning of her video. I had to pause her because I wanted to film quick. So I want to watch this because she's never had them before. I've never had them before either, Dee. I am curious. I'm curious, I'm gonna have to have JB make them for me or I'm gonna have to make them. I don't trust myself to make them. I'd like him to make them. Let me write that down so I don't forget. I've seen, now I'm watching you eat them and I've seen other people eat them, but I've never tried them before. So I'd like to try them. Hey, I'm gonna add it to my list of things to try. Oh, there's a bumblebee. Pollinate the world. Pollinate the world. I don't know. But he's right there. They're so cute. So cute, I love them. Um, so she's eating oxtail, I'm eating um, avocado toast with my egg whites on top of it. Mm. She's eating oxtail, she was talking about osobuco, and if oxtails are in osobuco, I'm not sure, I know in JB's osobuco soup, he uses beef bones or beef shanks and cubed chuck. So I'm not sure, I have no idea. Don't ask me. Mm. I have my flamingo socks on. Ugh. Ugh. They have flamingos on them. Ugh. That was rough. That was rough. Uh -huh. mm. I am watching my friends. I am, my video's done converting. I have to um, do my thumbnail, but I'll do that while I'm watching these delicious bites and these diets and buddy. Buddy put out a rap video. Okay, I'm gonna watch that. I have to go to the post office today, guys, and send out my little surprise for a sweet little angel. And tonight, I'm making the diet dish that she made the other day on her channel, I think it was Monday, with the lentils, the cabbage, and the onions. I'm making that. I don't have the bacon seasoning she had. I have Cajun seasoning. I don't have the bacon seasoning, but I'm gonna add bacon bits into it. I don't know, I thought, same thing, you know? And then I'm going to add, I'm debating adding diced tomatoes. I don't know, I grabbed them. I, 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 I had four other cans in my pantry. I don't know why I keep buying diced tomatoes. Um, I was gonna put them over shells. Only because with our, when we make lentils, like my nanny used to make them, we pour them over shells. So I thought the cabbage, the onions, and the lentils, and the bacon would go nice over shells with some cheese on it. Ooh, do we have cheese? I need to check that. I'll be stopping at the grocery store too. Why did I say it like that? I'll be grocery at the. I'll be stopping at the grocery store too. Oh my god! Did I just have another stroke? Like what was that? But we don't have any Parmesan cheese, and I want Parmesan cheese on mine. So, D, thanks for the recipe. We're so excited. My mom's actually excited to see it too. But you guys saw my haul. You guys love my hauls. Guys, I love making them. I love making you just laugh. Me and Angelina actually were trying to figure out where that reminds us of, and it's so weird because subconsciously, without realizing, I'm doing it. If you guys have never seen the muffins video, go look up the muffins video. It's very old. It's by, I believe, the same guy that did the shoes video, like shoes. I think it's made by the same guy as him, but it's called the muffins video. And subconsciously, I've been doing it from that video, never even realizing it. So that's crazy. And then the voice that I do reminds me of um, Vanessa Bear from Saturday Night Live. When she plays like the little Jewish boy. I don't know why. It just reminds me of that. Anyway, guys, I'm going. I'm going to go upload my video, watch my 2Ds. And then um, I just watched Amy. Now I'm going to watch my 2Ds. And then I'm going to, as I'm watching them, do my thumbnail, get ready. And then I obviously have stuff for the, at the store. So I might as well start making a list. Might as well. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Guys, I keep forgetting to tell you guys this story, okay? Now, I don't know if I did. Did I? I don't remember. On the way back from Cleveland, Ange and I were driving on the highway, and we saw, like, two big trucks filled with, like, little piggies, and then, not little piggies, but, like, pigs, and then we saw two big trucks filled with cows. And I already have it set in my mind. They were going to a beautiful farm. They're living happily ever after. They're eating grass. They're they're chilling. So anyway, so we're driving and we're driving and Ange goes, oh my God, an alpaca. And I was like looking to the farms on each side of me and I'm like, where? And she goes, 
in that U-Haul. Guys, there was an alpaca in one of those U-Haul vans that you rent, not like the big ones, like the tiniest U-Haul van you can get, like the one with the windows. Like someone had an alpaca in a rented U-Haul van. Where, 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 A, where was it going? B, is that legal? And C, like where was it going to the bathroom? Like I'm pretty sure you can't potty train alpacas. Where was it, like are you getting your deposit back? Because I don't think so. I don't know if that was even legal. I really don't. I really don't. But like we were driving the, and it was like a cream colored alpaca. It was so cute and it was like, and like when Ange saw it, it had its head up, and then when I looked over, it had it had its head down. So she drove over behind this U-Haul van, and it lifted its head up, and it like looked around, and then it put its head back down, and we were like, "Oh!" And I tried getting it in the vlog, but it was like pouring down rain, so I couldn't get it. So there's the yellow bushes I was telling y'all about. There they are. Okay, I have to pay attention. Bye, guys. So y'all, I have to tell you that I just left the post office, and that post woman that. Um, I had, I'm just looking to see because this lady next to me, I don't know if she was pulling out or not. The post lady that I had the problem with before, well, guess who is nice as pie today? She was in a very, very good mood. So that's a plus. It was a pleasant experience. So that's a plus. You know, hey, maybe she's having a good day. God bless her. I don't know what to say. But I need to update you guys and let you know that she was very, very pleasant today. And I wanted to go clean out my car, but it's like raining a little bit. I don't know what to do. So I just want to let you guys know that it was a pleasant experience in the post office. So I hope she has a wonderful day. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, I guess the walk with the dogs isn't happening today. It is raining. Yay. I was looking forward to it too. It's like t-shirt weather today. So I was like, ooh, the walk with the dogs is going to be so good. I can't wait. Ba 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 ba. Anyway, y'all, so I ran into sheets and look what I found. Look what I found. It's haunting me. It's haunting me. Chalkies meat stick. Hot chili pepper and lime flavored. I had to get it. I had to get it to try it. Talkies are haunting me. They really are. Again, I don't know how the kids eat them, but uh, whatever. So let's try this meat stick. Let's try it. I'm, I'm about to go in and have lunch, but I had to grab this and we have to try it. Oh, it's soft. Really soft. I was expecting that crunch like you get with a Slim Jim. Ooh. Ooh. That has an interesting flavor. Not even just the spice, but the flavor. Oh, that's water that I'm drinking, by the way. I feel like I need, I need to drink more water. I really do. It's like all I drink is coffee. That's an interesting flavor, though. Again, I, I wish there was a crunch to it, like a Slim Jim. Oh. That spice hits the back of your throat. Holy cow. I mean, I'm going to eat it. I don't want to throw it away. I don't know what that is, but... Well, I know what the spikes is. Uh, uh. It's that hot chili pepper. It hits the back of your throat. Uh. Guys, I wasn't gonna film me having lunch, but I have to show you the salad. Cause I am just like, oh my God. Okay, look at this. Oh my God, spinach, goat cheese, steak, long hots, tomatoes, and then I made that honey, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, must, uh, truffle mustard, salt and pepper dressing. Look at that, I wasn't even gonna film me, but I have to, I have to show you. Oh, um, I was like, oh, and um, everything bagel seasoning on top. Look at that, that is just gorgeous. Gosh, look at that, mm. Mmm, mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ooh. Mmm. I'm not even chewing it. I'm just swallowing it whole. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mmm. Flank steak. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Mmm. Very, very pleased. And of course, I had to share it with you guys. Mmm. Oh. oh my gosh, I love spinach. Mmm. Mmm. So, <clears throat> I ate that salad a little faster than I'd like to admit. <laughs> I was scraping the dressing. 
So guys, what I wanted to show you is yesterday when I was at Walmart, I've seen these before, either on TikTok or probably TikTok, probably TikTok, but it's the world's smallest. And it's the world's classic mini collectible toys. So there is Crocodile Dentist, Hot Wheels, My Little Pony, Stretch Armstrong, I remember him. They have a mini Uno in there. But I just grabbed it and I was like, let's see which one I get. I'm super curious. I'm not gonna have expectations. There are a couple that I want, but let me open it first. Yes, actually works. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the ones on the box are not the only ones you can get. Holy cow. Okay, so let's see what we got. It doesn't seem... Okay, I don't know. Oh my God! Oh, I'm so happy I didn't get my expectations up because I got what I wanted. Yes! It got the My Little Pony, look. Oh, and this one has clovers on it. Let me see, let me move her hair. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has clovers on her butt. And then this one has lightning bolts. Look at, oh my gosh, I am so excited. That was a lot of fun. Look at, look at, look at, look at. I really wanted either Stretch Armstrong, because I had Stretch Armstrong when I was little. He was so cool. Stretch Armstrong or Stretch Armstrong, the crocodile one, or the My Little Pony one. So I'm so happy that I got the My Little Pony. Look at, look at, look at. Okay, guys. So that was pretty fun for five bucks. I don't know if I should tell you guys this. I really, really don't. But I just sat here and thought to myself, does cheese melt? Like, duh, like, I'm, God. Hey, y'all, so it's almost time for dinner, and I'm going to be making D Diet's dish that she made on Monday. If you don't already follow D Diet's, go follow her. I'm leaving her link down below with the link to this video of this dish she made. And as soon as I saw lentils in the title, I told her I've never clicked on a video faster. Now, I love D. I love her recipes. I love her in general. She's fabulous. She is funny. She's amazing. I just love her. Go check her out. On Monday, she posted this video of her making cabbage, onions, and I had to grab them, lentils. Now, I already cooked these, so these are already done. So, we are going to be sauteing the cabbage the and the onions in, a, in her, she's on a plant-based lifestyle. So, she is on a plant-based, I can't speak, she's on a plant-based lifestyle she lives a pant i am done she d lives a plant-based lifestyle finally i got it out so in her plant-based lifestyle she doesn't use any oil cheeses bah, 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 bah. there's um, uh, a couple things that she doesn't uh, use in her cooking one of the things that she uses instead of using oil she uses vegetable broth now i didn't have any vegetable broth but i did make some chicken broth so I do have chicken broth to saute and cook down my cabbage and onions. So I'm gonna be doing that like she does. In her video, she also had Cajun seasoning, smoked paprika, and sweet mesquite seasoning. I don't have any of those. I have paprika, but I don't have, I don't, I just, I don't have any Cajun. Oh, I do have Cajun. So I do have Cajun and I do have paprika. It's not smoked. And, but I am, my, I'm gonna use, for mine at least, some Tony's Creole seasoning, because this already has salt, red pepper, black pepper, chili powder, dehydrated garlic. So I'm going to be using this. I'm going to use a little bit of Cajun and a little bit of paprika to season the cabbage and the onions. Um, and she also had vegan bacon lovers seasoning. Now, I don't have that either. So I'm going to add just bacon bits. And let's see how it comes. I'm gonna put it over shells and, oh, and I'm gonna add diced tomatoes too. I decided that I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be adding tomatoes, Italian diced. I'm gonna be adding these more closer to the end because these are already soft and all that. So I'm gonna cook down the cabbage and the onions first, add my seasoning. We'll just go over guys and you can just see what I'm doing. Is there anything that I am missing? No, I don't think so. So I'm, let's go over to the stove and I'm gonna start cooking.
Okay, guys, it's all done, and it looks really mm. good. It does. So as you saw, guys, I did switch it up a little bit. I did add the bacon bits. I added some diced tomatoes, and I put it over shells with some cheese. So let's try it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Wow. What are you doing, JB? Very good. Oh, my mm. gosh. Thanks, D. This is really, really good. Mmm. There's so many flavors. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. All right, guys. We're going to go eat your... <laughs> I'm probably going to have two bowls of this. This is really good. I think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> D, thank you so much for the recipe. Guys, we're going to go watch the movie. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's the end of the night. All right, guys, another day down. Another day down. I am so full from that dish, D. JB had two bowls of it. I only had one. But, oh, did I love every minute of it. Thank you so much for the recipe, my friend. I don't even know if I'm going to, like, have a snack with my show tonight because I am that full it was so good and i cannot wait to have it again because i'm sure like after it sits for a while it's gonna be so oh my god it's gonna be like i don't even know how it could get better but it's probably just gonna be amazing it's probably gonna be amazing i was just real quick going through comments and mr jimmy vega said do the pineapple socks mean the same as a pineapple shirt and i I didn't know, nor did JB know what a pineapple shirt meant. We just thought it meant hospitality. Well, we looked it up and I did not know that's what that meant. So it looks like Roxy has a new chew toy because I didn't know that's what pineapple clothing meant. Thank you for that. <laughs> and then it was funny because as I was sitting there editing the Real Housewives are on. And I turned around and the one housewife goes to the other housewife's husband. Oh my God, I love your shirt. Is that pineapples on them? And I like stood there because I was coming in here to film this. And I was like, wait a minute. I swear things have been following me lately, guys. Like I swear when I was in Cleveland, I saw a subway, like the subway like shop, like um, where they make hoagies, like everywhere. And then I keep seeing pizza everywhere. And now I'm seeing pineapples and after I found out that meeting, I don't want to see pineapples. I'm pretty okay. Pretty okay. Pretty happy. Pretty happy. But guys, today was a great day. Tomorrow, I have to... Um, oh, I offered to bring my mom to an appointment. So I'm going to be bringing her there. Um, oh, I have other things to do. And now I'm forgetting them. But whatever. I'll remember. I'm excited, though, because I have to... I want to give my sister... I'm going to give her those talkies i'm gonna be giving her those flaming hot dill pickle chips i'm gonna be giving her jb got flaming hot doritos to make those um jalapeno poppers i'm gonna give her those i'm giving her a bunch of snacks i have an overabundance of snacks and especially the hot things she likes hot things so i'll give them to her because at least they'll get eaten so i'm excited to see her tomorrow and yeah that's about it guys that's about it i love you all so so much I do. Thank you for watching me. Guys, I can't believe it's like a month and 14 days. That's crazy. Pretty soon it's going to be two months sober. That's going to be so freaking cool. I'm so excited. Now I just got to drink more water and stop drinking so much coffee. I mean, yeah, yeah. you know what it is with the coffee? It's my creamers. It's my creamers because like I look forward to eat, drinking the Fruity Pebbles and the Funfetti creamers. That's why I, I drink. I've been drinking so much coffee. Um, but yeah, guys, so that is the plan, Stan. And guys, thank you for watching me. Thanks for watching my vlogs. Thanks for being on this journey with me. And I love you guys so, so much. I really, really do. And until the next one, you, bye-bye. <laughs>